The basketball team traveled to North Little Rock, Arkansas last weekend to compete in the 2009 SEC tournament. The Lady Vols faced 12th seeded Alabama last Thursday in the first round of the tournament. After trailing by one at the half, Tennessee turned it around, defeating the Crimson Tide 68 to 49. On Friday, the Lady Vols recorded another win, this time over the fourth seeded Florida Gators 71 to 67. The win advanced Tennessee to the semifinals to face top-ranked Auburn. The Lady Vols carried a 31-26 lead at halftime, but couldn't hold on in the final 20 minutes, falling to the Tigers 78 to 58. Sophomore Angie Bjorklund was named to the SEC All-Tournament team. She averaged 14 points per game in the tournament, finishing with 25 points against Florida and 17 points in the loss to Auburn. Tennessee's fate lies in the hands of the NCAA Selection Committee. The Lady Vols wait to hear who they will play in the NCAA tournament, which will be announced March 16th. The golf team wrapped up play in the UCF Challenge on Tuesday with an 8th place finish. The Lady Vols finished ahead of seven ranked teams, including SEC foes Alabama and Vanderbilt. Tennessee will return to action April 3rd through 5th at the Bryan National Collegiate in Greensboro, North Carolina. The softball team traveled out west last weekend, competing in the OU Worth Invitational in Oklahoma City and Norman, Oklahoma. The Lady Vols defeated Oklahoma on Friday 4-1, recording their first win in the tournament. Freshman Jessica Spigner slammed her team-best seventh home run of the season. With the win, freshman pitcher Kat Hosfield earned her SEC Best 14th win, allowing just one run on four hits with six strikeouts. On Saturday, Tennessee faced a doubleheader, falling to Northwestern 7-3 before topping Oklahoma for the second time in two days, 6-5 in eight innings. The Lady Vols had one more shot at Northwestern on Sunday, but couldn't pull it out, falling 11-3 to the Wildcats. The swimming and diving team earned 11 bids to the 2009 NCAA Swimming and Diving Championships. The full national championship field was announced last Wednesday, taking two seniors, four juniors, four sophomores, and two freshmen from the Lady Ball squad. Tennessee will look to improve from its eighth place finish last season on March 19th through the 21st at the Student Recreation Center Natatorium in College Station, Texas. Three Lady Vol divers will compete for a chance to go to the tournament on Friday in the NCAA Zone B Diving Championships at the Allen Jones Intercollegiate Aquatic Center. Results will be announced on Sunday. The tennis team defeated Mississippi State last Friday 5-2 in the first home outdoor match of the season. The Lady Vols handed the Lady Bulldogs their first loss of the season. Tennessee moved on to defeat Ole Miss on Sunday 6-1. The win marked the fifth consecutive match the Lady Vols have won the doubles point to take the initial lead in the contest. Doubles duo Caitlin Wachorski and Natalie Pascota topped the 28th ranked pair of the Rebels 8-6. Wachorski and Pascota maintained their undefeated record and defeated their second nationally ranked opponent. After over a month of home court play, Tennessee will travel to Columbia, South Carolina on Friday to face the Gamecocks, followed by a match with the Gators on Sunday in Gainesville. For UTLadyVols.com, I'm Courtney Lyle.